Good morning, Year 11. It's A5 again. I'm not in a white void. I'm just in a area that looks like it's been stripped of posters because it kind of has and I haven't replaced them yet. Doesn't matter. It's Friday. Friday, we made it a full week. Who knew? So this is the end of the second week of this new lockdown. Um, four weeks long, we were told by the government. So obviously, it'll only be four weeks long. Anyway, um, just to let you know, uh, plans are still afoot to do mocks when you return. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. I just know that that's the plan. Um, and the government is talking about mini exams and none of us have any idea what's meant by that. Uh, but one thing I want to impress upon all of you is just how hard you are working. I am aware of that. I've been checking on Show My Homework. I've seen what's been going live. I've seen the number of live lessons that are being done. And frankly, you guys are doing an astonishing job. Um, please, this is weird for everybody. You are doing amazingly. And I make no bones about that. Uh, I, am, I am really impressed. Um, thank you to everyone that's been in contact one way or another on these form videos. Uh, and thank you very much to everyone who's taken part in the quiz, which reminds me, today is supposed to be about answers. So I think what I've got to do is, um, well, talk about those answers. And here they are. So as usual, I'm doing my thing of not looking in advance. So they're as much a surprise to me as they are to you. I mean, I say that, um, but I guess you guys probably know half the answers from what I can gather and the commentary supplied with the answers. Thank you to everyone who started adding what you think about the question before you give the answer. Genuinely, that's brilliant. I love it. Please do that again. Um, so yeah, which of these plat online platforms have placed a ban on Donald Trump's accounts? Uh, there were three options or all of the above. And, and it's been gathering pace. It is all of them, every single one of them. Uh, also Snapchat. I didn't even know Donald Trump had a Snapchat. Um, but there we go. After I love the way they put violent in inverted commas. They were definitely violent. There's no inverted commas required. I honestly think this quiz is put together by people on the right of the political spectrum because they do this a lot. Um, True or false, Queen and Prince Philip have received COVID-19 vaccinations. It was on the front of the Daily Express, so it must be true. The vaccinations, um, so presumably they're better than vaccinations, were administered on Saturday by a household doctor. Isn't it great that they've got a household doctor and they don't have to go to a hospital? That's fantastic, how wonderful for them. Uh, the Queen's 94 and Prince Philip's 99. Excellent, they're very old. And they're about among 1.5 million people so far at the beginning of the week who have been given at least one dose at least one dose you need two for it to be effective what type of intense weather have emergency services in spain been dealing with recently it was heavy snow road rail and air travel was disrupted and the interior minister fernando grande malasca i can't do a spanish accent i'm not even going to try said the country was facing the most intense storm in the last 50 years well, there we go. Um, I'm not sure what it's like now, but it certainly seems to have warmed up and wetted up here. We're getting warm air off the Atlantic, so it's a lot wetter um, and a lot more rain, which is sad. I, I was kind of liking the snow. Which of the following zoos is the only place in the UK that you can find these animals? It's Edinburgh Zoo, uh, though they may go back to China because of financial pressures. Uh, basically, the zoo doesn't have a lot of money and the lockdowns are pretty much killing it. Does that mean I'm against lockdown? No, it doesn't. Um, Reduced revenue uh, during COVID lockdown means the zoo may be unable to renew the 10 year contract. They cost about 1 million a year. Um, you'll never walk alone, singer is died. I honestly thought that was a hymn. So uh, who is this? It's uh, Jerry Marsden from Jerry and the Pacemakers. I didn't know they sang that. Well, there you go. Um, died age 78. The band covered the Rogers and Hammerstein song, You'll Never Walk Alone, in 96. Ah, there you go, you see it's much older. Leading Liverpool Football Club to adopt it as their official motto and anthem. He re-recorded the track in April last year in tribute to the NHS during the coronavirus pandemic. Ooh, that was a lovely little noise, wasn't it? Um, true or false, a plane crash in Indonesia at the weekend involved a Boeing 737 MAX. False. Um, it was a uh, passenger plane crash into the sea, uh, but it's not a 737 MAX. Um, it was just a 737. Well, that, that was a bit of a trick question. Which well-known computer tool has recently been retired? The answer was not Donald Trump. <laughs> it was uh, Flash, Flash Player. It was all over Google for about a year and a half beforehand. Um, and um, that's it. All those Flash games, all those Flash animations, they've stopped being a thing. I don't know whether you even are aware of them. Maybe they were still going in your youth. Maybe they remind you of your young times. I don't know. It's a shame, though, because I know one or two Flash games that I quite enjoyed. In which location did this dramatic event occur? I'm not even sure what the dramatic event was. 
Uh, it was an Italian hospital, a huge sinkhole, about 22,000 square feet across and 66 feet deep, swallowed several cars and forced the evacuation of a COVID ward. Wow, that's um, it's pretty bad. Which Commonwealth country has recently made an official change to its national anthem? It is Australia. Um, the line to be removed in the anthem, which is called Advance Australia Fair, is for we are young and free. Uh, instead, people will sing for we are one and free. Um, the funeral of Dame Barbara Windsor was held in London. In which television show did she play Peggy Mitchell? Isn't it? Um, it's uh, East End. I can't do the, soon, the tune for um, Emmerdale, so uh, I won't. Um, Dame Barbara played the pub landlady Penny Mitchell in East Enders for more than two decades. Um, there you go. In which country would define the city of Montreal? And I know you got this, Reese. Uh, it's Canada, eh? And, and that is my one and only Canadian impression, and it is horrendously offensive to Canadians. Well done, me! Um, it, there you go. It's the second largest city in Canada after Toronto. Um, there you go. The name of this famous building stormed by violent protesters who, as the week has gone on, has emerged it got even more violent, was of course the Capitol building. Um, clashes broke out, did they really? Um, between the lawmakers, uh, the lawmakers were meeting and expected to affirm Joe Biden's victory. Well, yeah, that's just what they do. They, they count. That's literally what the thing was. It, it, there was nothing else. But they did go in with zip ties, these protesters, and uh, tried to actually murder congressmen. So. That's a thing. Uh, in which violent? In which Scandinavian country did a massive landslide occur last week? Twas Norway. Wow! More than thirty homes were destroyed. Um, at least one thousand residents were evacuated, and seven people died. Ouch! I guess that's more important than an attack on a capital building. What major step has Amazon taken to expand its business? I dread to think. It's bought 11 planes, goodness me. Um, it's expanding its growing air freight network. Uh, experts say buying its own aircraft will allow Amazon to become a credible competitor in postal services and logistics. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, Jeff Bezos is no longer the richest man on the planet, I suppose, so he needs to do something. The word impeachment has been in the news a lot recently. I can't imagine why. What does impeachment mean? It means a charge of misconduct against a public official. We do it in this country. Uh, politicians from the Democratic Party in the US are trying to raise impeachment proceedings and indeed have succeeded. It was voted on and 10 Republicans voted in favor as well, making it the most of the party that's on the defense. So the public official, which party they're from, it's the most numbers of that that have voted for an impeachment in history, and also the first time that a president has been impeached twice. There you go. Um, which African country is this flag? Now, I think I know the answer to this one. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I was wrong. I thought Zimbabwe. I was totally wrong. It's Kenya. Um, glad I didn't try that answer. Uh, which businessman has just overtaken Jeff Bezos, the richest person in the world? It is Elon Musk. Richard Branson has no money. Um, his net worth crossed $185 billion. That is an insanely large number. Uh, $1 billion is enough to live off, literally live off, for the rest of your life. You, you would never need to dip into the billion dollars. The interest alone would sustain you and it would sustain you to the tune of several million. So um, yeah, that's an insane number. Um, viral footage of players from Chorley FC, what were they singing? It was Someone Like You by Adele. I, I would, there you go. Um, with a third round winner of a second tier Derby, second tier Derby County, I feel insulted on your behalf. Um, the men have celebrated the results in their usual fashion, belting out a rendition of Adele's Someone Like You in their changing room. Well, there we go. It's uplifting, apparently. I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe it is. Um, true or false, Donald Trump has announced it will break with tradition and not attend the inauguration. Well, there we go. You know it's true. Um, and the last person to do that was Andrew Johnson, uh, who was not a nice man. Um, he's finally admitted defeat, but not admitted that Joe Biden won. Um, and he's repeated his baseless claims of widespread voter fraud because there was none. What is the name of this comedian who is set to join the cast of Doctor Who? Um, it is, of course, John Bishop. Um, he'll be joining the 13th Doctor and Yaz on the TARDIS on the upcoming 13th season of Doctor Who. I need to get back into watching that. I haven't watched it in years. So, as yet, as you can probably gather, because I haven't checked the answers yet, I do not have the scores for you, but they will already have been on the thing that this video is attached to. So, have a lovely Friday, Year 11. Celebrate the fact that you've managed to reach the end of the week. It's a big deal. Uh, this is two weeks in. We are halfway through what was originally announced. 
Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you, well, next Thursday, if not before. Thank you all very much and I'll see you on.